this lesson is all about infinite geometric series. Infinite geometric series represents the sum of infinite number of terms in a geometric sequence. Ibig sabihin, sa lesson na ito, kailangan natin hanapin ang sum ng isang infinite geometric sequence. The sum of the n terms of an infinite geometric sequence is represented by the equation a sub 1 plus a sub 1 times r plus a sub 1 times r squared and, and so on, wherein the values of r is greater than negative 1 but less than 1. Ibig sabihin, ang possible values of r or the common ratio must be between negative 1 and 1. Ibig sabihin, hindi kasama sa possible values yung negative 1 tsaka 1. Kailangan na sa pagitan lamang nilang dalawa. We have two types of infinite geometric sequence. Yung una ay yung tinatawag na convergent. Convergent siya kapag ang value ng r is greater than negative 1 but less than 1. Ibig sabihin, ang possible values lang ng common ratio ay sa pagitan lang ng negative 1 at saka 1. Hindi kasama sa values ang negative 1 or ang positive 1. Kapag ganyan ang values ng r, makakakuha tayo ng sum. Yung isa naman ay ang tinatawag na divergent. So, divergent siya kapag ang r is less than or equal to negative 1 or r is greater than or equal to 1. Ibig sabihin, pag 1 pa taas or negative 1 pa baba, wala tayong makukuhang sum sa isang infinite geometric sequence. And we have formula for the sum of the terms of a convergent infinite geometric sequence. That is, S infinity is equal to A sub 1 all over 1 minus R. Ang symbol na ito, ang nagsasabi ng isang sequence ay infinite. Or it will continuous forever. This formula can be used kapag ka ang value ng R is greater than negative 1 but less than 1 or ang tinatawag nating convergent infinite geometric sequence. Or, Ta tinatawag din siyang sum of infinity. Let's have the first example. We need to find the sum of infinite geometric series 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth plus 1 over 16 and so on. So, ang ating a sub 1 is 1 half. And then, kailangan natin masolve yung common ratio para malaman kung convergent siya or divergent. So, that is 1 fourth divided by 1 half. So, para ma-solve, i-reciprocal muna natin yung 1 half. That is 2 over 1. And then, proceed tayo sa multiplication. We can now cancel by means of greatest common factor na 2. So, two, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then, 1 times 1 is 1. And 2 times 1 is 2. So, we have now the common ratio na 1 half. And since 1 half is between negative 1 and 1, it means this sequence or itong geometric sequence na to ay convergent. So, pwede tayo makakuha ng sum. With the use of sum of infinity is equal to a sub 1 all over 1 minus r, substitute lang tayo ng value ng a sub 1, which is equal to 1 half, and then 1 minus 1 half, which is nandito yung value ng r. Solve muna natin yung 1 minus 1 half, that is equal to 1 half. And then, 1 half divided by 1 half, that is equal to 1. Ibig sabihin, ang sum ng infinite geometric series na ito is equal to 1. Let's have the second example. We need to find the sum of this infinite geometric sequence, 4 plus negative 16 plus 64 plus negative 256 and so on. Ang ating a sub 1 is 4. And then, we need to solve for the common ratio that is negative 16 divided by 4. Negative 16 divided by 4 is equal to negative 4. Negative 4 is less than negative 1 or mas mababa sa negative 1. So, sa madaling sabi, wala tayong makukuha ang sum. At itong sequence na to or geometric sequence na to is considered as divergent infinite geometric sequence kaya hindi siya mag makukuha na ng sum or hindi nag exist ang kanyang sum. Let's have the third example. We need to find the sum of 50 plus 25 plus 12.5 plus 6.25 and so on. 
So, this one is an infinite geometric series. So, una, identify muna natin ang A sub 1, which is equal to 50. And then, we need to solve for R, that is equal to 25 over 50, or A sub 2 divided by A sub 1. So, with the use of lowest term, by using greatest common factor na 25, yung 25 magiging 1 and 50 magiging 2. So, it means ang ating common ratio is equal to 1 half. Since 1 half is between negative 1 and 1, ibig sabihin, this sequence is a convergent sequence. So, ibig sabihin, makakakuha tayo ng sum using sum of infinity, which is a sub 1 all over 1 minus r. So, substitute lang tayo ng a sub 1, which is 50, tapos yung r natin na 1 half. Isolve muna natin yung 1 minus 1 half, that is equal to 1 half. And then, 50 divided by 1 half, i-reciprocal lang natin tong 1 half, that will be equal to 2. And then, proceed tayo sa multiplication, that is 50 times 2 is equal to 100. So, sa madaling sabi, ang sum ng infinite geometric series na ito ay 100. Let's have the fourth example. We have 2 third plus 4 third plus 8 over 3 plus 16 over 3 and so on. So, ang ating given ay ang A sub 1 natin or ang first term natin is 2 third. And then, we need to find the common ratio. That is 4 over 3 divided by 2 thirds. So, reciprocal muna natin yung 2 thirds magiging 3 over 2. Then, proceed tayo sa multiplication. Then, we can now cancel out. So, i-cancel muna natin yung dalawang 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And then, we have 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 2 divided by 2 is 1. Then, proceed tayo sa multiplication. 2 times 1 is 2. Then, 1 times 1 is 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating common ratio ay 2 over 1 or equal to 2. So, since 2 is greater than or equal to 1, ibig sabihin, we have no sum because this geometric infinite geometric sequence is a divergent. Divergent siya kapag ang value ng r is less than or equal to negative 1 or r is greater than or equal to 1. So, pag ganito ang ating value ng r, ibig sabihin wala tayong sum. Let's have the fifth example. We need to find the sum of 3 fourth plus negative 3 over 16 plus 3 over 64 plus negative 3 over 56 and so on. Ang ating first term ay 3 fourth. And then, we need to find the common ratio. Ang common ratio natin is negative 3 over 16 divided by 3 fourth. So, yan yung pag-solve. Una natin gagawin is i-reciprocal muna yung 3 fourth that is will be equal to 4 over 3. And then, proceed tayo sa multiplication. Pwede muna tayo mag-cancel out dito sa 16 and 4. They are both divisible sa 4. Kaya, 16 divided by 4 is 4 and 4 divided by 4 is 1. And then, we can now cancel yung 3 saka 3 dito sa baba with the greatest common factor of 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Dito rin, 3 divided by 3 is 1. And proceed tayo sa multiplication. So, 1 times 1, that is equal to 1. And 4 times 1 is equal to 4. Pero do not forget the negative signs. It means ang ating answer or common ratio natin is negative 1 fourth. And negative 1 fourth ay pasok siya sa ating uh, range na less than or equal to or greater than or equal to negative 1 but less than or equal to 1. Ibig sabihin, we can now solve for its uh, sum. By using the sum of infinity, we have a sub 1 over 1 minus r. Then, substitute tayo ng a sub 1 which is 3 fourth tapos yung value ng r is negative 1 fourth. And then, to solve for 1 minus 1 fourth, i-change muna natin yung sign ng subtrahend at saka operation. They will become both positive, so magiging 1 plus 1 fourth. And then, 1 plus 1 fourth is equal to, pwede natin gawing 4 over 4 yung 1. And then, we can now add the numerator and then copy the denominator. So, that will be 5 over 4. And then, pag, para makapag-divide tayo, i-reciprocal -re ulit natin yung denominator. That will become 4 over 5. And then, pwede na tayo mag-proceed sa multiplication. So, this time, we can do the cross-cancellation or yung cancellation rather. That will be 4 divided by 4 is 1. And then, dito rin sa baba, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So, multiply tayo. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 5 is 5. So, ibig sabihin, ang sum ng ating infinite geometric sequence ay 3 over 5. Let's have the sixth example. We need to express the repeating decimal 0.333 as a fraction in lowest term. 
since this is repeating, we can use the sum of infinity to find its lowest term. So, una, we need to express 0 0.333 as a sum of infinite geometric sequence. So, we have 0 0.3 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.003 plus 0 0.0003 plus 0 0.00003 and so on. So, sa madaling sabi, uh, sinusulat lang natin siya separately. Tapos, yung nawawalang number, pinapalitan natin ng 0. So, yan yung way kung paano siya gawing sum of infinite geometric sequence. So, first, we need to find the a sub 1. a sub 1 is 0 0.3, siya yung unang term. And then, we need to find the common ratio. So, a sub 2 divided by a sub 1, that is 0 0.03 over 0 0.3. So, para mas madaling mag-simplify, i-move natin yung decimal places natin to the right para maging full number sila parehas. So, since ito yung pinakamarami, dalawang decimal places, so move tayo parehas ng two decimal places. So, itong 0 0.03 magiging 3. Tapos, yung 0 0.3 magiging 30 kasi nag-move tayo ng two decimal places. And yung 3 over 30, pwede nating ilawas term. They are both divisible by 3, kaya magiging 1 over 10. And then, pwede na natin itong gawing decimal that will be equal to 0 0.1. And then, with the use of the sum of infinity, we have a sub 1 over 1 minus r. Substitute lang tayo ng palya ng a sub 1, that is 0 0.3, and then 1 minus 0 0.1. Yung 0 0.1, that is the value of r. So, 1 minus 0 0.1, that is equal to 0 0.9. Then, we have now 0 0.3 over 0 0.9. So, same process kanina, kailangan gawin natin silang whole number. So, move tayo ng 1 decimal places since nasa 10 uh, play sila parehas. So, that will become 3 over 9. Then, we have now, uh, we can now have their lowest term by dividing them both by 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 9 divided by 3 is 3. It means, yung sum ng ating infinity or yung lowest term ng ating decimal or repeating decimal na 0 0.3333 and so on is equal to 1 third. Let's have the last example. If the common ratio of an infinite geometric series is one-third and the sum is 36, find the first term. So, ang given natin, we have the sum of infinity which is equal to 36, ang common ratio na one-third, and we need to find the a sub 1 or the first term. So, from the sum of infinity is equal to a sub 1 over 1 minus r, we can derive the formula a sub 1 is equal to sum of infinity times 1 minus r. Then, substitute tayo, sum of infinity is 36, then 1 minus 1 third. 1 third is our common ratio. And then, 1 minus 1 third is equal to 2 third. And then, we can now do the cancellation uh, by means of uh, dividing 36 and 3 by 3. Since they are both divisible by 3, so 36 divided by 3 is equal to 12, and 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. And then, 12 times 2, that is equal to 24. So, ibig sabihin, 24 yung value ng ating a sub 1.